Hey, what's up, Monero community? Um, today I'm going to go over quickly Harvest, what is going to be an open source version of CoinHive. So in other words, it's going to allow you to run mining operations, or not operations, but it's going to allow you to mine for cryptocurrency, specifically Monero, using the crypto note hashing algorithm. Um, I know a lot of people are excited about CoinHive and kind of what that brings to the table. And I've seen on Reddit a lot, people are like, when are we going to get open source? When is this going to happen? Um, so I think this is probably a really interesting problem that people are going to get excited about and that hopefully, you know, people are going to want to contribute. So quickly, I want to go over just how some of the basic tooling is going to work. Because what we need to do is run from C++, um, which is what CryptoNote and a lot of the mining um, mining rig software is built with. So it allows us to kind of easily grab existing bits that are already working with Monero and allows us to transfer them over to a browser environment. Um, so back to the beginning, we have to take the C++ and then we have to compile it down to WebAssembly. Um, and there's a few steps to that. And then there's also ensuring that we're backwards compatible and that people even who don't, who people who don't have WebAssembly um, can still run somewhat optimized JavaScript to ensure that we're not bogging down their systems too much. So the first thing I want to take a look at is uh, the current GitHub repo. This is what's published online, um, and this is what's gonna well. So there's a, there's a few tools in here that are essential to making sure that harvest can actually happen. Um, and the, the, the two major ones are, of course, uh, WebAssembly and uh, Asm.js. So I have a quick uh, demo file over here. It's called harvest.c. It's going to be the C file. It's in uh, under Foundry and then Schmelt and then Harvest. Um, this is where the eventual algorithms that we're going to have in C are going to live, and then these will get uh, compiled into WebAssembly and Asm. And so you'll see this folder over here, compiled, has Harvest in it. There's nothing in it at the moment. And then all, also this Harvest folder is all by itself. So what we're going to do is we're going to run both the Asm script and the Assemble script, and this is going to convert our C file into both WebAssembly and Asm.js. So I'm going to quickly hop over to the terminal. Um, we're going to do yarn build asm. Actually, let's do assembly first. And what this will do, um, and this requires some local dependencies, so you're not going to be able to do this right away unless you install a few things, and I'm going to go over that. Um, and so if we hop back to the code editor, what we'll see now is under that harvest.c, we now see a harvest.js. And this is our JavaScript that has now been compiled down to assembly or asm.js ready code, which essentially means it's um, JavaScript, but statically typed. So when we say something's a number, it's going to be a number. And that's important for the browser because it doesn't have to worry about optimizations and we're not going to slow it down or have it worry about garbage collection. So this is important for backwards compatibility and having Harvest work on browsers that don't yet support WebAssembly, which I mean, I, I can't imagine it's going to be too much longer. Um, and so the next important part and the more important part is assembling or compiling down to WebAssembly. Um, and this is just as easy. Uh, there'll be a script that will allow you to just do build uh, WASM. And what this is doing is something similar to the last step, but it's now creating this harvest.wasm file, which is binary. We can't read. Um, but you can actually convert this into what's called uh, wasm text, and you can read it a little bit more and, and see what's going on. But anyways, the, this is the essential tooling um, and foundation that we're going to need to build an open source um, browser mining tool because we really need to be able to target 
the CPU effectively. Um, and this toolkit, this chain right here, this little tool chain utility belt um, of a couple of the dependencies that I'll show you how to install are what is going to allow us to have uh, an open source uh, browser mining application that runs effectively. Um, so if you're interested in this project, if you have any questions, uh, please reach out to me on Twitter or on GitHub or wherever you feel is the best. Uh, thank you. Peace.